Hi and welcome back. This video is designed to help you familiarize yourself with the George Mason University Virtual Computing Laboratory, or VCL for short. To get there, put your mouse in the URL locator bar and type in www.vcl.gmu.edu and that'll take you to the web page that you see in front of you. And you can see on this page you have a variety of options to start off with. For example, you could change your preferred language. Uh, you could click over here and you can see how you can get some help with the VCL. I'm just going to jump right to it. Okay, so underneath where it says Welcome to the Virtual Computing Lab, you see that there's a pull-down menu that allows a variety of options for how you can access the VCL. Now, the only one that's actually going to work for you is by logging in with your Mason credentials. So make sure that that option is selected. Having done so, if you're working from a computer that you use all the time, you may even want to allow it to produce a cookie for you where it will remember your selection. And then proceed to your login. Now, your login with the Mason credentials, this is where you actually put in your Mason credentials. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Like so. And now it'll allow me to log in. All right, so having logged in, now you can see that you have a, a variety of options again. On the left-hand side, there's home. This is the home screen that you're looking at. New reservation, current reservations, block allocations, etc. To keep things simple on yourself, when you start a new session, just go to new reservations. All right, when you look at the new reservation, you can see a number of options. And it depends what particular resource you want to access when you log into the VCL. So accessing this pull-down menu, you can see that there's a wide variety of, uh, of options available to George Mason community individuals. So whether you're interested in ArcGIS or accessing Blackboard, etc., all the way down to what we're going to use in this course, which is SPSS. And you can select SPSS 19.0, and you'll see that it remains the highlighted program in the drop-down menu. And we're going to start our reservation here right now. We could also make a reservation for later, but let's not worry about that for the moment. Let's make the duration of our SPS session two hours, but you can see that there's a variety of options again, anywhere from 30 minutes up to four hours. And once I click Create Reservation, you'll see what happens. So it switches the screens, and it says here Pending. While it says Pending, what's happening is the system is waiting for the resource to become available. And the same would be true regardless of what resource you select, whether you selected Stata or ArcGIS or a Linux session, etc. In our case, now that we have the Connect button available, it means that our resource is now available for us to use. When you click on Connect, you can see what happens. It tells me that I'm going to access a remote computer and it tells me to use the following user ID, which is my Mason user ID. And then it also says to use the following password. You see how it says 3X2, capital Q, capital W, and capital U. That's the password I will use to log into the resource. I will not use my Mason credential password. So now our next step is to get the RDP, or remote desktop file, which will allow us to connect to this remote desktop session. And you can see that what's happened in my browser down here is that it's trying to save the file. If you click on it, you should, be, you should get a connect dialog. And I'm going to choose this selection because I'm working on my own computer. But of course, if you're working on a different computer or one that many people have access to, maybe you won't want to save your preferences. All right. So now you see I have the security pop-up, and it's saying my username is ddaigle and my password. Now, you don't want to remember these credentials because what happens with the VCL is Mason assigns a separate password for every time you access a new resource via the VCL. It's a randomly generated password. So putting in a password or remembering a password will not work in this case. So I'm just going to type it in as you see it over here, 3xq2wu. Now remember, passwords are case sensitive. And I'm going to accept the certificate.
and you can see that I'm connecting to the resource now. Okay, so this is what's called a remote desktop, and it looks like, I'm. you see how there's a start button down here? Just like there's a start button down here. The lower start button down here is the start button from my local session, or the one running on the physical computer I'm sitting in front of. This start button over here is the remote start button. So imagine that you'd connected across the internet to a computer and you're looking at the desktop of that computer across the internet. That's exactly what's happened. And you can see if I click on start, it looks like any other sort of start menu, including I have the programs option. And you can see that if I scroll through the programs, I have a variety of resources, right? Excellent. On the desktop here, you see IBM SPSS Statistics 19. Double click it. And SPSS will load up eventually. It is notoriously slow. So just give it, just be patient with it. And here it comes. And there it is. And you're ready to work. Very good. All right. So next time, we're going to start actually working with IBM SPSS, and Aaron will be in charge of leading that lab. So good luck. Play around. Play with your Pollock book, but this is a way to access SPSS, remember, across the networks. So you don't ha have to come to the university to access university resources. We'll see you soon.